has been over five months since the government announced the shutdown of toll booths across the country. More than 800 persons, many of whom are physically challenged, have been rendered jobless since the closure of the toll booths. Government, as part of efforts to calm nerves, assured the workers that they will be reassigned as early as possible, but that has not been done as some of the workers complain they have been home since the closure. The government also assured of its commitment to pay salaries of these workers until they are reassigned, but the workers say they have not received salaries since December 2021. Michael Babengida is physically challenged. He used to operate at the Abuasi toll booth in the Ashanti region. He narrates his ordeal since the shutdown of the toll booths. <laughs> And yeah, you cry. Me too is a rent also. Me this car, me the bitch, I'm a rent. Sitting me there, I do mana a good idea. In fact, I have a pa. I might just say, Grand, I'm a tea, me so cratty, me dark cram into me now. If you're a barman into crown, meet my case, one or corner baby, because it's a mini aguma, made a maheno, too. A a a a dear, in fact, I have a hammy, a hammy pa, because I sit down. Adding, adding my pa because I said the sable pa when you are juma. Now, if you did, adding pa say on Sabacuano. He says the situation has caused many of his colleagues, including himself, to be suicidal. Be brave, meaning get back or cry, or cry, make a hundred cry, and I'm crying, 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 and Friday, <laughs> Abubakar Salif was the manager of the Abuasi toll booth in the Ashanti region. According to him, even in his joblessness, he is compelled to support some workers, particularly persons with disabilities who do not have the strength to engage in other jobs. Uh, life has not been easy. Yeah, you know, uh, life has been hard, I would say, but some of us, we soldiering on. No. Pay is not coming, no work to do under these hardship conditions. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes if I tell you, my, my phone rings sometimes, and then somebody will call me, boss, I need 10 cities to buy food. Boss, I need 20 cities. My son is sick. Boss, I'm sick, I'm in the room. Yesterday, I didn't eat the whole of yesterday to this morning. Boss, please, if you have something small, I know you are also at home, but if you have something small, send it to me on phone. And these are the kind of things I hear every day. And as I sit here, I, I look worried all the time because I feel I'm also a net, but there are people who look up to me, you see, and I can't turn my back for them. So when such calls come, what I have to use for food, I have to give it up to them. He says most of them may resort to begging if government does not reassign them as promised. Most of them, for my place like this, they can't even work aside because their condition was bad to the situation that they would only sit down just to take the money in the boot, change. And this kind of people, how do you expect them to go and do any hard work? He can't. You understand? He, he, he can't. So the person only depends on, right now, there is one woman at my place. She's, she's, even if she has to sit on the chair, you have to carry her to sit on the chair. So a person like this, how does he work? When she was working on the tow booth and she comes to work, the security men on duty will carry her and put her on the chair. After she finished with her duty, they will come and carry her up the chair. So right now, she's sitting in the house. What job do you expect her to do? You expect her to tell you, asking her to go and beg. They are thus appealing to the government to fulfill its promise to them to reduce their sufferings. I just pray and hope that government speed up with the process and then get these people engaged, at least. I know 
like somebody rightly asks, with this qualification you're talking about, how many of them can be employed in the government sector? But, you know, there are a lot of people too who are qualified. You put those qualified people somewhere, at least because they've worked with these people before, if one is in need, he can at least help the person. But if those who are qualified are home, and those who are unqualified are also home, how do they help each other? But, so I, I just hope and pray that government will speed up things and then uh, uh, nobody's asking government to go back and open the door and re-employ people at the door. But people are always saying they need jobs. Yes, sir. Say, one of why said, Oh, who disabled for more bono? Ah, or boy, say, Oh, boy, be a may I say. Oh, why, and not your new money, nation sent me at the inquiry, because it is easy. I know. I don't join any communipa. You cry, let us have a beam jam from your crown up to now, meaning, but if you phone a crime, be out to you, because me genus for persons whose sources of income are around the operations of the toll booth, they explain that their situation has not been any different. According to the manager of a bakery around the Abwasi toll booth within Kwabu East municipality of the Ashanti region, he has been forced to lay off over 40 workers due to the situation. First, I'm not a fat fat. I'm quite an be nice. So, the boss and the production no conform. Now you want to last sixty plus. You say in quite ano about twenty five. The production a jumana and kasa ye ye no. Now yeah 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 jumana a jumani two ye kano ye ni pat twenty seven. So say a jumana bar for mano about the ni pat twelve. Yo how be bre? A hawker around the toll booth also narrates the daily ordeal of workers there since the shutdown of the toll booth as they have resorted to risking their lives by running after cars in order to get people to buy from them. And I say yes, I say my yeah 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 too much one year bread. Yeah my bread and say car not now say car car for be so happy. Clearly, a lot of people who had their livelihoods around the operation of the toll booth have been negatively affected, and as such, they want authorities to reconsider the decision. From Abuso, I am Fatih Amin Ibrahim for City News.